So uh, let's go. Let's continue about the authenticate encryption, which is combining encryption and Mac for confidentiality and integrity. Um, so now historically, uh, there are so many ways to construct this authenticate encryption uh, from 2000. Um, so what they are trying to do is they are using some existing chosen plan test attack secure encryption, like a CBC with random ID and mega, mega like HMAC. So combining these two things, they are trying to create the authenticated encryption. But uh, every project is not successful to combine this uh, to protocol to construct the secure authenticated encryption. Okay, so let's look at how we are uh, gonna be construct. So first one, option one, so combining Mac and uh, let's see what's going on. Okay, so this uh, nothing is changing on the screen. Um, Let me correct it. Okay. Hmm. So well, let's look at the mag and encryption to construct chosen cyber test attack secure uh, scheme. Um, there are uh, traditionally there are three options, three approaches. Option one. Um, so message is given, plain text is given. Okay. Then first it is computing the Mac first, which means that the Mac is generated for this plain text. And then for this generated message and tag, it is applying the encryption. So it's encrypted. So message and tag are encrypted together. Okay. So this is actually used in the SSL protocol. SSL TRS, like HTTPS is using this SSL protocol. So it is doing Mac, then encrypt. So Mac is performed first, and then encrypted is applied. Option two. Uh, this is used in the IPsec. So message is given. Then uh, it is doing encryption first. Encryption first. For this encrypted message, it is creating a tag. Last one it is used in the SSH protocol. Message is given, then it is encrypting. This 
zikrettim. And it is complete in the Mac. But the difference is here. So this is encrypting. It's very similar to the upper one, but the difference is that upper one case. So here, this tag case, it is uh, computing the tag using this cipher text. The lower one case, it is computing the tag using the original message. So option two case, the tag is computed for given encrypted cipher text. Last one case, the tag is computed using the original message without encryption. Okay, so option three is kind of hybrid between option one and option two, right? So the uh, front part is the same, but the last part case, Option one K, uh, it's not the, not the okay. So option three case, the tag is based on the, this tag is based on the original message. Option two case, tag is from the cipher text, that's the difference. So historically there are three approaches. So do you think, which is secure and which is insecure or everything is secure or everything is insecure? What do you think about it? Do you have any idea about that? So all options are looks good or what do you think about it? So let's look at the option three case. It is what doing it is. Uh, it is encrypting and also it is generating the tag. And then this is combined. Okay. So this is combined. So second one is called encrypt then Mac. And last one is Encrypt and Mac. Okay. So, do you think which is a secure or which is insecure? If you are the designer, then uh, which one do you want to use? Option one, two, three. Everything is secure. Okay, so is there any other uh, opinion? Actually, there is a slide, right? There is a slide. So second one is secure. So I can say. So in encryption and then providing the Tag that is secure. Okay. So this is uh, always secure. Um, option three that is partially. In some case, so depending on the what kind of um, Mac algorithm you used, it depending on the sometimes it's secure, sometimes it's insecure. And option one SSL, there is actually a tag for this first one. So, Mac and then encrypt, that is very risky. Uh, why do you think option two is always correct? We learn about the CC secure encryption, right? CC secure. What does it mean, CC secure? 
That means attacker cannot create any ciphertext to be decrypted. Right? Attacker cannot create. So option two case, option two case. Um, is it possible to create the new ciphertext? It's not going to be possible. Why? Because to create a new ciphertext, we have to know about the Mac key, right? Because Mac is applied to this ciphertext. So without knowing the Mac, we cannot create any tag value, which means that attacker cannot create new ciphertext, which is decryptable because when this ciphertext is given, then always we have to check the tag. So tag is correct against this encrypted message. Okay. So somebody is changing this part, that means new tag is generated, but it's not gonna be possible because we don't know in the, the tag key is not gonna be possible. Option one case. So this is the encrypted message. If somebody can change, if somebody is trying to change it, is it possible or not for decryptor or decryption? What do we have to do? We have to decrypt it first. So if somebody is changing the, the given ciphertext or generating the ciphertext, we have to decrypt and then we have checked the MAC value, right? So option one case, uh, in order to check whether this is a correct ciphertext, we have to decryption first. So maybe the decryption information can be read to the adversary attacker. So we'll look at the, how this is really uh, possible for the attacker to breaking the option one. So anyway, uh, option two, uh, encrypt then Mac is secure. So the then Mac is always secure. Uh, let's skip over this part. So this is it. Uh, let's look at the why encrypt then Mac is secure. So what does meaning of Mac? Mac, Mac means if ciphertext is, uh, some message is given, then others cannot create new message tag pair, which is accepted, is, is uh, verified, right? So that's the secure Mac. So what we are trying to see is encrypt then Mac, which is option two. Like IPsec is provide ciphertext integrity. So for the ciphertext integrity. So ciphertext integrity means that um, this is gonna be not possible. Or they can create a new pair of tag. Okay. Uh, suppose obviously can do that. from message tag value, attacker can create a new message tag value. Then we will show that increase the Mac is not 
providing the cyber text integrity. So let's look at the game. So there is a challenger and there is adversary. So what trying what adversary is trying to do is adversary is trying to break in the semantic security. Right? So it is trying to semantic security. So it's just selecting two messages, zero and one. Then challenger is choosing random value B, and then selection selecting one of them. So ciphertext is encryption of messages. Okay. So this ciphertext is actually. Uh, two part, so text part and tag part. Okay, so this is C0 and T. So encryption is a Mac then uh, encrypted then Mac version. So this subtext is given. Then other recipe can create New tag because we are assuming that address can break the uh, integrity part. Okay. Then address can ask for the decryption C prime, which is C zero T prime. So this is different from the C, right? Because tag part is different. So others can ask for this subtext because this C prime is not equal to the C, which is received from the challenger. So others can ask for that subtext to be decryption, decrypting. Then what is happening? Challenger is checking the C prime, but that checking is correct because others can generate the correct tag value. So after decrypting, it is returning the message, right? Because decrypting C0, C prime, which is and which are this is. Then all the is checking whether M0 is MD. It's correct, then it's zero, otherwise it's one. So which means that if we are assuming that um, the mag, the side integrity is incorrect, then encrypted the mag algorithm is insecure, semantically insecure. Right? So encrypted the mag is semantically secure, that means this is providing the side text integrity. So, which means that option two is generally it's always secure. So, encrypt then mag is can provide the self test integrity. It's not security. Um, okay. So let's skip this part. Last part. So let's look at the TLS. Uh, so what case we are looking at is, so there are three case option, one, two, three, right? So one is Mac, then encrypt. Option two is encrypt then Mac. Third one is encrypt and Mac. So this is always secure. 
is uh, insecure. It sometimes is secure, partially. And second one is IPsec is going to here, and this is SSH. The first one is secure is SSL, like a TLS. So TLS is used by HTTPS. So we will look at how we can break this TLS well, what kind of problem TLS has. So we'll look at it. So let's look at this TLS protocol first. Okay, so TLS protocol 1.2, this looks like this. Um, there are two keys, unidirectional key. So Bob to server, server to Bob. So when Bob is sending messages, then Bob is using this key for encryption, and server is using Bob to server for decryption. And when the server is generating the message, then it is using a different key. And using the that key, it is doing the decryption. Okay. So we already know that if the key is used more than once, then uh, it is insecure for the stream cipher. So two different key are used. And uh, there is the packet is including head part and the record part, data part. Okay. And um, each one, each side has the counter value. So there is a counter up to and Sutia has to bar. Okay. So these are preserved. So this is a non civil actually, it's the count counter value. So whenever we are starting the new session, then uh, counter is a reset. Okay. And then whenever we are sending the packet, then counter is increasing. So the reason why counter is existing is we are protecting the replay, which means that using the previous packet, somebody can reuse these packets. But if we have a counter, then all the counter is not uh, considered by server or Bob. So to protect the replay, there is a counter. So there's a header and record. Um, so then let's look at this record part. This record part. So record part. So uh, record is encrypted using Mac and Mac then encrypt. Mac then encrypt the encryption. So for the Mac, there is a Mac key. And for the encryption, there is encryption key. Okay, so Mac then encrypt. So uh, for the given data, so this is the given data. So for this data, there is uh, some information. What's the type of this data? What's the version? What's the length of this data? Okay, and uh, for this data, it is generating the tag value. Okay, so after Mac, after Mac, it is creating this much data. Okay, this much data using HMAC. So SHA, after we are applying the SHA region for this part, and then we are doing the Mac provision to generate this type of value. For this encryption, it is doing the CBC AES encryption, CBC mode. So CBC mode case, we need the padding 
right? So there is a path for this encryption. Okay. So to generate this packet, uh, what's the step of encryption is? Encryption is first using the map key, it is generating the tag. Okay. And then it is adding path. After that, it is doing the CBC encryption. Right. So then it is generating all the record. And then it is adding head. Head apart. So this record is including data data tag and pad and all of them are encrypted. And for that there is some additional information in the header. So that's the structure of TRS. So for this one is given, then what's the decryption for sure, do you think? So decryption is just a reverse direction of this encryption. So decryption case, what this is doing is, it is doing the CBC decryption first. CBC decryption, and then is it checking the path and then is it checking the MAC, right? So encryption is computing the tag and then path and then encrypt that direction. So decryption case, decrypting and then checking path and then it is checking the tag. So that's the decryption. So that's the direction of the decryption. So here, this is decryption. First is in the decrypt, and then checking the path, and then checking the tag. Okay. So here is 1.2 case, uh, path case. So if it is checking the path, if path is not correct, do you remember what's the path value in CBC mode? What's the pad value? So for instance, if we are making the padding, so this is one block. And uh, remaining, there are four bytes is remained. What's the padding value? Yeah, four, four, four. So that's the encryption path. Right. So this is is it checking the this pad value is correct? If this pad value is incorrect, then it is generating the error message of bad lack of map. So this is padding error. If the path is okay, it's correct, then it's checking the tag using the mega algorithm. If tag is incorrect, then it is generating the bad lack of the mag. It's the same error message is generated. It's the same. Actually, there is a reason. So 1.2 case is the same, but 1.1, it has the same is a different error message. So different error message means attacker get more information. Okay. So here there is a same error message. So there is no information about the uh, message, but if 
is different, it has some problem. So let's look at the uh, old one, 1 1.1. So this is 1.1 TLS. So prior to the TLS 1.1, so 1.0 for instance. So there are two problems. One is the initial vector value is predictable. So we already know that uh, initial vector is predictable, or it's not randomized, then it's not secure anymore, right? So that's very secure. So that has both in the old version. Another one is the padding has problem. What the problem is, uh, 1.2 case, the error messages are equal for padding or for Mag is the same error message, but before the 1.1, if padding is incorrect, then it is generating the decryption failed. If mag is incorrect, then it's bad like with the mag. So different error message is returned to the sender. So by looking at this message, attacker can break the plain text, can break the encryption scheme because it is providing the more information to the attacker. Okay. So this is actually padding oracle attack. So we look at it. So using this padding oracle attack, we can break the ciphertext. We can decrypt it. So when, uh, I'm not sure, but when you are designing the uh, secure security scheme, you have to, you have not to provide more information like error message. If we are providing the more information to the uh, attacker then, or receiver sender, then it's not gonna be secure. So uh, this can be happening in many applications actually. So for instance, one of them is TRS case, another one. TRS header is uh, containing the length of TRS recorder. So if the length is large, then maybe there's more packet, more record, that means we know that, okay, maybe the We can extract some information. For many uh, web application, the length reveals more sensitive data. So for instance, like uh, some document. So the document length is depending on the what kind of document you're actually submitting. So by looking at the length of the document, length of ciphertext, Maybe somebody can uh, guess. Okay, so this document is for the uh, something. For this one, for the another one. Or if it is uh, length is leaking, which page the user is uh, looking? Or in the Google Map, the length is leaking the location by the user, okay. So length is also assessed for data. And uh, WP, we already look at the Wi-Fi home. So this is not secure, right? So when you're looking at the, at the first step, uh, we already know that the WP is not secure. The reason is, um, it is using the two time pad. So, two time pad related. Um, it looks like this. So, CRC is kind of parity of message. And, uh, The initial vector, this one is 44 bit. Okay. 
Then uh, what we can do is Uh, this is not secure for the CCA. The reason is if there is a zero one is here, because uh, WP case there is no MAC, so there is no MAC. Zero one, then PRG, this part is some random value. And for this hypothesis, what we are doing is original was. 0, 1, x, 2, r, that's the original one. If we are applying the uh, x, 2, r, 0, 1, x, 2, r, 0, 3, that means this part is changed to 0, 3, r, right? So this can be created. So new side test is generated. CRC part is uh, changing, but this CRC part can be computed because of linearity. So we can, uh, compute that part. So WP is not CCA secure, that's the problem. Okay. So anyway, uh, currently we are looking at the TLS key. Okay. Again, back then, encrypt. So how we are breaking that one. using the padding. So, now uh, TLS scheme, decoder, decoding scheme, decryption scheme. So first it is decrypting the message and then checking the pad and then checking the tag. Is the procedure. So let's assume that if the pad is not correct, then it's returning the padding error. If tag is not correct, then it's returning the map error, just like 1.0 TLS scheme. Okay, so we assume that uh, the error message, different error messages return to the uh, sender. So using this error message, we are trying to decrypt the original ciphertext. Okay. So that is called padding oracle attack. Suppose attacker can differentiate two error messages, two errors. Then uh, attacker can attacker submit ciphertext and learns some information about the plain text. So this is showing the chosen sub test up. Um, even, even if the attacker, uh, not attacker, the decryption scheme is returning the same error message, same error message, but by looking at the timing, we can differentiate. So for instance, there is two things, right? Padding error and mag error. So even though error message is same, just error. We know that padding is performed before the mag is checked. So error message is coming earlier, that means this is padding error. And error message is late, then it is mag error. So by looking at the timing, we can also differentiate the error message type. So to remove this uh, differentiating, even the path is incorrect, maybe the decryption algorithm should be waiting, a little bit waiting and then sending the error message. So 1.0 has the problem. Okay, so then let's look at the uh, padding worker. So padding worker. So it is in the CBC encryption. So CBC encryption. So 
maybe you are still remembering, but let's look at the one specific encryption. Um, attacker has three ciphertext and so C0, C1, C2. And then attacker want to decrypt M1. Okay, so attacker want to decrypt this block. That's the goal. So what attacker is doing is, uh, so attacker is trying to know about the last byte. Okay? So attacker wants to know about this byte. Okay, so maybe this is some byte, some byte. So attacker is trying to from zero to the 255. So 256 cases is attacker trying to do. So what attacker is doing is uh, this last byte, this last byte is related to the previous one, previous ciphertext. So attacker doesn't know about the, the output of this decryption because without the key, attacker doesn't know about it. But anyway, attacker can control the ciphertext. Right? So attacker is trying to change the last part of the C0 because this last part of C0 is actually X word with the last part of output of D. Okay, so these two are X word and then then the last this value is coming out. Okay, so using that information, attacker is trying to do. So what attacker is doing is um, just ignoring about the last block. Okay, so we are just ignore ignoring. So there are two blocks in the plain text, okay? And this is just normal text block. And this is M1, but if there is one byte is, it's not filled, then what should be, what value do we have to add here? What's the padding value? Yeah, it should be one. Because one byte is left, we have to write one. Two byte is left, then we have to write two, right? So that's the padding value. So uh, what the attacker is trying to do is after decrypting, this value should be one. So that's the attackers is trying to do. So this one, is trying, attacker is trying to making the last byte is containing one. Okay. So in order to do that, um, so originally, There's nothing then, there will be some values here, right? So originally M1 is containing some last part. It has some value, like a G. But what we are trying to do is G should be changed to the one, right? So to change the G value to the one, what? Value should be X word. So original one here, this is something. Let's, let's say this is X. So X is X word, and then G is created. X, X word, sum here, let's say this is Y byte, Y, then it is G. 
Now, what we are trying to do is G should be one. Y is uh, still remaining. So which one we have to exploit? Here, X is remaining, one and G. Is it correct? X, X1, Y equal G. So I'm applying the one X1, G, X1. One X or G X or. So this is zero. So it will be one. Okay. So I'm adding this much more. Okay. So original one was X. So this X I am applying the one x or g to those c0. Okay. Then if the last bit byte is g, then m1 values last byte is one. Is it correct? The so original one is G, that's our assumption. So that is correct guess then after we are computing, so after we are adding, so after we are changing the X value part, okay, so X value is changing to the X, X or one, X or G, and then uh, we are asking for the decryption. Then if decryption is correct, that means it's one, okay? So then it's not padding error, right? Not padding error. Because padding is correct. Padding is correct. So maybe it will be generating the mag error. Because we didn't create any neck value create successfully. If the G is guessing, right? If G is different, so we are assuming that G, uh, for instance, G is three, but actually it is five, but we are, we are guessing that this is three. So we are applying the three. Then definitely this is not one, okay? This is not gonna be one. So that means what kind of error is coming out? the case is uh, incorrect. Then it is generating the padding error. So attacker is changing the X part from zero to the 255. So among these 256 cases, Almost every case is generating the padding error. Only one case it is generating the mag error. Right? So is it changing G is zero K zero? G is one and G equal 255. So among these, so this case it is padding error. This case of padding error padding error, and some case, one, just only one case, it is mag error. And the other case, everything is padding error. So mag error means that, what does it mean? The last byte is one. Because the pad part is passed. Do you got it? So that means Bottega can 
know that last part of the original message. Everyone can follow. Can I repeat it again? Subtext is given. So is this correct subtext? My V is also there. Then after decryption, then M0, M1, M2 with some path. That's the correct form. Okay, so that's the correct form. Um, Attacker case, attacker is manipulating the padding part. So attacker is just looking at the M1, okay? So attacker is trying to decrypt this M1. Actually, attacker is just looking at the last byte of the M1. So you know, to do that, attacker is just generating the ciphertext of this message. By using this attacker trying to decrypt it. So this message means, uh, so definitely if this message is given to the decryptor, then decryptor is always generating the error message. Okay, error message. So padding error or mag error. Pad error or mag error. So it is checking the padding error first, and then it is checking the mag error in the TLS. TLS case, padding error check is first and then mag error because it is doing the mag and encrypt. Mag then encrypt. So decryption is first and then checking the mag. So during the decryption is checking the path first. Okay, so padding Oracle attack, uh, what this one is doing is just removing the last part. Okay, just remove it. And then attacker is assuming that M1 has some path. Okay, so attacker is making the last part will be zero one. It's one value. The last byte should be one, okay? Uh, but actually it was not one, right? Because it, it, it was like a, some Z value. Z value. But attacker doesn't know about what this value was, okay? So attacker is applying. So, it, so X zero value is originally X. And then the last, the last part of the inc this input of the XOR, which is Y, okay? So X, XOR, Y will be Z, okay? So that's the actual computation of uh, decryption. But attacker doesn't know what, what is Z, what is X, what is Y, maybe X, attacker know about that because that is just, ciphertext part, but anyway, uh, Atteco is trying to do X word. One to the X and two. So 
it's many times. Okay. So Otego is changing this X part, cybertex C0 part by first it is asking IV and C0, but last part is X, X1. Changing that byte, C0, C1, and it is sent to the decryptor. Then decryption is returning some message, padding error or mag error. Okay. So if this is a padding error, then uh, attacker is trying to change the value is two, then three, until it is receiving the mag error. So like a five after some value trying, so that it is returned to the mag error. What does it mean? If attacker is receiving mag error, that means padding is passed. Padding is passed. That means five x or x x or y is. Five x y z, which is actually one. Right, this is one. So z is five zero x y z one. So take a note about the last byte of z. How many times attacker has to try to get the Z last byte value? How many times attacker has to ask? Yeah, 250, five or six, this much, right? Okay, so attacker can get the last byte then after accepting this last byte, so for instance, this one is fixed like a, so I'll take a note what this is, uh, seven, okay? So then what is happening? So attacker is trying to decrypt second last byte. So how, it is, it is doing, if this two byte should be padding, it should be zero two zero two. That's the padding value. That's the correct padding value, right? Two, two. If the last two byte is padding, then we have to put the two, two as a padding value. So uh, we already know that this is zero seven because it's, we already obtaining, so. We are applying x, x or 0, 2, 0, 7. Then we are making sure that last byte is 2. Okay. And then the previous one, previous byte, we are repeating 256 times to get the mag error, just like last byte. Just same to the, uh, when we are looking at the last byte. So we are changing the second byte part. 
which is returning mega error when this blue part, I mean, this part is 0, 2. So we already know the last part is always 0, 2. It's fixed because we know that the original message byte value and the byte value, but previous one, we don't know that. So we are trying to do 256 times to get the 0, 2 value. Okay, so second byte and third byte. So we are trying to 1256 times number of byte. Then we can decrypt all the uh, M1 block. Okay. So I think you need time to uh, think about this padding oracle attack. Okay, uh, any question? No more question? Okay, then see you next Monday. Bye.